Hey, so I just want to make a quick video on some neat looking vintage LED displays that I have here. And this is the VQB76, which is a basic seven segment display with a decimal point. But you can see from its packaging that it is a bit special in how like over engineered the packaging is. Uh, this is made by the company WF, which I cannot pronounce, but I guess it's a uh, part of RFT, which is an East German company back when East Germany was a thing. And you, you might recognize RFT from making a bunch of Nixie tubes. Um, but yeah, they, I guess they dabble in LEDs. And you can see I have four here. Um, some of them have, a, I guess, a lock code U3, and some have T9. I'm not sure what those mean. I couldn't find a data sheet or anything about these. Um, but they have at least a WF logo or company logo printed on there, so you know it's from WF. Uh, but yeah, these are, I guess very over engineered in terms of the packaging i guess it's made to defend against whatever enemies of the state they had back then and or whatever all out nuclear war was going to happen and uh you can see that it is a metal case with a piece of glass epoxied on top and there's a very neat effect with the gold trimming that they have going on i'm not sure what the purpose of this gold is i don't know if that's from the epoxy or if they actually gold coated the case before epoxying the glass on which I guess uh, I'm, I'm not sure about I thought gold doesn't really bond well to glass uh, and so it might fall off or something but yeah they decided to hermetically seal it that way I'm no material scientist so I don't know what the best way to bond these things together is but that's how they decided it to do it um, and inside there is a white ceramic PCB uh, with the individual LED dies mounted on uh, so it has a very I guess aesthetically pleasing look in my opinion uh, with the gold trimmings and the white uh, ceramic PCB but yeah uh, on the right side uh, yeah, I have one uh, lit up as an example uh, I couldn't find a data sheet for these so if you have a data sheet please let me know uh, but uh, just probing around I found that it had I guess three anodes which is pin 2, 7, and 13 and then I'm giving 5 volts and a bunch of uh, Currently maintaining resistors for each of the segments. I chose 220 for the segments and 1K for the decimal point, but that you know, it might you might need a bigger resistor for the decimal point because it's still a bit brighter you know, from the human eye. But yeah, it seems to be working so far. Although at this brightness, you can't really see um, the individual LED dies. So let me just uh, turn down the brightness a bit by current limiting it a bit more. So you can see now that it's a bit dimmer, and you can see that uh, if the camera would focus, the individual LED dies uh, with, uh, I guess it's in two segments, and each segment has three little LED dies on there. I'm not sure if just that's just cut out from a piece uh, as two segments, and then they just divided it into three, or I don't know how they made, made that. But yeah, the decimal point is a bit different. It's just a square piece. But yeah, overall, it looks really nice. I thought it looked really cool. And I'll try, probably try to assemble this into a clock of some kind. Unfortunately, I guess the only really use of these LED displays is to make more clocks. And I have a lot of clocks already. <laughs> but yeah, I'll try to make something out of it. And I guess just document it in this video. So these neat looking displays don't get lost into the annals of time or whatever. Um, they, someone spent a lot of time and money making these displays. And they look really nice. And it'll be a shame if they get like, you know, recycled into scrap metal or something. So I don't find them that often. I found these on eBay. Uh, so they're, I guess they're kind of rare, but maybe there's a warehouse somewhere with a million of them. You know how they stock up these things in case there uh, is a war coming or something like that. So it could be a box of these somewhere with a whole bunch of them. Who knows? But yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll probably have more of these LED display videos in the future.